Hello guys, and in the last video, what we have covered was uh, dependencies between two different modules and how would they interact with each other. So for for example, uh, we have created a post module, and in this post module, what we needed to do is getting a list of author, like getting the author for each post, and how we resolve this issue. Uh, by having this service is by adding our module so adding the users module in our post module so we're able to access the users service uh, in our uh, sub uh, classes in the post module so now in today's section what we will do is what if we want to add uh, a list of posts for each author so basically the dependency is coming from the users as well and so basically we have to do the same way as the post but uh, we may, it won't be as easy as what we have done before where but we just had to add the modules and then the service in our constructor but we will face some errors there and I'll explain that later so let's just um, add something here. So what I wanted to have in post service is getting a list of uh, posts by the author ID. And I made a function called find all by author ID. So this function will ask for an author ID and it will return a list of posts by filtering the posts. Now we will go to our user service. And what we want to change for showcase is this example. So the dependency between the users and posts. Uh, we will call the get users and this get users will have a list of posts. So what we will do is first we will import our post service. So we will do private post service service posts service and let me fix that it shouldn't be any shouldn't be a source whether we should dot dot so post service and in here what we'll do is we will map uh, our users and we will take the second parameter so that will be the index for each the for the list so it will be called index and let me close that and here what we will do is return and what I will do is get our previous user but we will add a new property for that user and it will be called posts and that post basically will have we will use our previous function that we just created which is called find all by author ID and this function will ask for the index so that will be our id for the author so it will return a list of users which has a property called posts and they don't have to have uh, a list of author if they don't have the users in it so i think we will add an empty array here so if it doesn't find it so that will be it and we have to fix the dependency between the posts so here what we have to do in order for the post server to be used by our user module so what we have to do is export the service so we'll say exports and we'll use uh, okay and uh, we'll put an add send and say post service and we'll add a comma here and we have export our post service. Now in the next part, what we will do is we have to go to the users module and in the users module, let me fix that. Let me make it beautiful. Yes, that's much more, that makes more sense. So now here we will say import and in import, what we will ask for is the post module itself. So we will ask for the post module. Now, I, th I think it's now the same way as we have done previously for the post module to get a list of users we have exported it we have imported the uh, module in the root user post module and we have added in, in our constructor the service 
So now, when we are running, you, we will face several problems. So we will solve this problem step by step. So we'll say npm run start dev. So if you notice, we got a problem, and let's read it, what it says. So it says, the module ID of post module imports array is undefined. So the post module array, so let me explain it, would be post module, the module ID index 0 of the post module imports array is undefined. So basically, when we go to our post module, the users module is undefined. For the uh, for the posts module, so when it tried to import the users module, it wasn't able to find, and the cause of the issue you could say is a circular dependency. So let's say our post module is called A, and our user module is called B. So let's say A depends on B. Now, B depends on A. That's what we know now. So now the problem would be, usually, when you do not have this dependency, right? Let's just remove this. A, in our under the hood, in SJS, what it does, A, so it notices that post module A requires post module B, right? So it means that a cannot be created until B is being created. So it will go to post module B. And now here before there was no dependency, so it created successfully, then it later on created A. But however, now what we have done is A is depending on B. So basically now, so B equal depending on A. Now, when it went to the B, it wasn't able to figure out because A wasn't hasn't been created yet so it doesn't know that a exists so now basically there's a circular dependence so now a would say okay now it will go back towards it and a, it will say okay so i need to create a but a is depending on b and so on and so forth right so how we solve that is by using several components coming from nestjs Usually what I would solve is using either import or require. So require is more dynamic import and import is more static that would have this problem. But for this one, we'll make it much more elegant. So what we'll do is first we will solve the problem of the different module. And I said first because we will face another problem. So in the post module and users module. So those are the ones that are depending on each other. So what we have to do is in both sides, remember in both sides, you will use forward ref and we will use an arrow find like a, like a function and here we'll say we'll import that from nest.js common so we'll go to and we'll say forward ref. So this one is solving the problem but sometimes it works if you do it one side but it is preferable to put it on both sides just remember that so just try to put on both sides so we'll go to users module so we'll import here as well our forward ref and in here we'll fix that so we'll say forward ref forward reference and, and we'll use the arrow sign arrow function now we have finished our forward ref. Now it should be okay, right? Now we finished the dependency between the module, but no, there will be another problem we will face. And that problem is another problem in itself. So if you read here, so it doesn't have the previous problem. In our previous problem, we had a weird font. Where is it? Okay. I, I think I removed it, unfortunately. Yeah. The module index of post module imports are, uh, import are undefined. But in here, you have another problem. So this problem, again, NestJS can cannot resolve dependencies of the post service. So when you go towards the user service, which one is depending on? So user service is depending on the post service. So it is saying that it is not able to initialize the post service. It's because, again, 
Instead of the modules itself depending on each other now, the user service and post service having are having a problem. So those two are depending on each other. Now we have a circular dependencies between those two services. Honestly, there are many different ways of solving this, and this sounds this uh, the, and you'll be able to check out in the documentation. But for now, what we will do is a quick and dirty way of solving this problem. And actually, usually you won't see this, you won't face the problem with the circular dependency and usually it will only be one dependency so the modules don't depend on each other that much preferably and if that happens try to use this or other other uh, or other ways mentioned in the documentation so what we will do here is similar to what we have done previously but we will use something else we will add something else so first we will use our forward ref right so we will use our forward ref and our forward ref will be looking like this and we will use post service and we will import that so forward ref but we are not done yet so if you have noticed that's a problem right so what we have to do is in order to resolve this problem we will use a decorator and that decorate is called inject which always works under the hood and usually you won't see it uh, un unless you add some so, some advanced or intermediate uh, logging in your, in your Nest.js project. So we will call that and we will mention, so we will wrap around our forward ref with this, uh, forward ref with our inject, so we'll use a decorator and we'll call it inject, wrap around here and we have wrapped around it. Now what's next would be we have to import our forward ref here as well. And post service I mean post service. Okay, I need to fix that. So post service. So that will be that we have solved this problem here. But we have to do the same thing in our post service as well, whereby we have to inject our forward ref here as well. So we will use forward ref. So what we need here is forward ref and inject <clears throat> so in here we will say decorator and inside the parameter we'll use our forward ref and the forward ref will have a function and that function will call our users service let me finish that now I have imported the inject so I injected the reference of this user service and that should solve the problem. And yeah, now it works fine, everything's fine and I think you could test it out. But yeah, in summary, what we have done is solving a problem and that problem was coming from two modules depending on each other. So when two modules are depending on each other then we may need to use the forward ref, forward ref on each of them on, on, on the, the post module or users module so forward ref on the, in the imports uh, array and if, and if two services are depending on each other as well what we have to do is we have to use the inject decorator in order to use the forward ref on top in front of the services that are depending on each other so for the case being would be the post service depending on the user service and then user service depending on the post service but it's highly unlikely you will you will have to face this issue and usually it's not recommended to have this thing this problem where you have to have circular dependency all over your place usually you try to avoid circular dependency and I think that's that will be it and in the next chapter we'll cover logging logging and logging is about events and those kind of stuff so yeah thank you very much and have a good night